what a battle this has turned out to be. A tremendous comeback, but what a great effort by Guy Smith. I mean, clearly, you know, the Dyson Racing guys, they've been struggling with the handling of this Lola Mazda for much, for pretty much the whole season. But Guy Smith now, you can see that victory is, you know, kind of almost in his grasp. He certainly doesn't want to give it up. Down into turn number one, it is the 16 of Guy Smith. He's got more traffic, and all of these guys are also battling. They're all wanting to get to the end of the race. It's that part of the season as we move into the last quarter where every single position on the track means better points towards the end of the year. Everybody's got to be so heads up about this now. It was eight tenths of a second at the line. Guy Smith again decisively moves to driver's left on, uh, is that uh, Bryce Miller? Yes, it is behind the wheel of the Short Park 48 Porsche. But Once this again, turn, Lucas through his line, yeah. compromised there in two turn six, but again, he carries a lot of momentum through that corner. I mean, that car really is working well, that uh, HPD with the Honda engine. 3.4 litre engine, it's a, just a, a super piece of equipment. And again, Lucas Lewis squeezes down the inside of that DC car. And once again, he's almost onto the tail of Guy Smith. Right, keep your eyes on this one. Quickly, I remind everybody that in PC, the lead between the 06 and the 05 call cars is just under four seconds. Kyle Mozzelli dropping back a little bit from those two in GTC, Blake Mullen's got two seconds over Ragging and Faulkner, who are having a cracking battle, but there's no way we can take our eyes off the head of the field as Lucas Lowe slowly, inexorably, drags his way back to the rear spoiler of Guy Smith's Lola Master Coupe. And the Yorkshireman will have to pull out all of that northeastern grit that he's got there. And he flicks the car into the final corner. There is Lucas Lur in second place as they head up the hill again with GT traffic. Who gets the best of the traffic this time? Look at the gaggle of cars. Two yeah. minutes to go. You're right. There's going to be another couple of laps. You are on the money there. Half a second. That's the least. That's the least that Lewis taken out of him. Turn three is going to be interesting down here in the bottom of the hill. Look at this the It's like a traffic jam. Smoke screen being thrown up by one of the cars. It's like the Bond movie. All we need now is throwing out the tax. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth in GT. And look Needs at that. Lucas has got a run on him, but there's cars in the way. He can't make uh, take, take advantage of the run. He's gone through turn three. But don't forget, the car in front is a turbo. You get off there, it takes a while for it to spool back up again. The normally aspirated car should have a little bit of an advantage going on and off the power. Super driving yeah. between all of those guys. We've got PC, GT, and the BMW gets pushed off there. And uh, that is losing a position then for... Uh, the Dirk Muller in fourth place in the battle in GT. Bill Oberlin still leads by three and a half seconds from Bergmeister, 55 from 45 there, but the leaders are already down at turn number eight, just making sure that nothing else has changed as they've gone through this time. On the other classes, it's going to be tight everywhere, eyes in the back of your head. And Guy Smith has got about five and a half miles to hold off Lucas Lur. What a famous victory this would be. It's been a great charge back. I've never seen blue flags wave with any more gusto than they are now. Everyone around the circuit, including the corner workers, knows what's at stake here. As Lucas Lowe loses the front end of the muscle milk car, he knew he had to get down the inside of the Dempsey racing machine there if he was going to have any chance in the last four miles, which start in about six seconds' time. Uh, yeah, that's the rear end of the car got really loose at the braking for Canada the corner, but Lucas Lowe held on to it, and now He's charging up the front straight, but you know this Lola Mazda, it is very quick on the straight. So Lucas, having having closed up, making that last pass, there is the white flag. Just one lap to go for Guy Smith in the lead, or Lucas Mill currently in second place. He's held on to that half a second. Never has a white flag looked so good for Guy Smith. Down into turn number four, turn number three. Excuse me, at the bottom of the hill. Lucas gets a good run through there. He's edging back towards the back of the coupe again. He looks at his mirrors just to see if there's anything behind him. Lucas, there's nothing behind you, mate. Just concentrate on going forwards. Guy Smith just turned his best lap of the race at 152.927, exactly when he needs it. Through traffic and under pressure, the Yorkshireman, the 2003 Le Mans winner for Bentley, shows his mettle. I don't think I don't think this is going to be able to be called until we see them come up the hill for the last time as Lure tries on the outside. Everybody's trackside at the moment is holding their breath. 
for another two minutes or so. Into the carousel for the final time, halfway round the final four miles of four hours. In fact, we're over four hours of racing once again. The American Le Mans series over delivers in terms of entertainment as Guy Smith comes through the king for the last time. Lucas Lowe will surely have a look at Canada Corner. He must try and do it. He's going to have to come from a long way back. I don't think he's going to be close enough at Canada Corner. He's going to have to make it, I think, at turn 14. Uh, he's very he's right on Guy Smith's tail as they go up the hill now. Just two more corners to go. Well, he's shown that he can stick it up the inside, going into the last corner. It's now or never for Lucas Law, and it's now, and he's done it. He had to make it stick, but he's gone wide, and here comes Smith. A drag oh, race. We've got a drag, drag race. And it's a little, who's got the ponies? Who's got the ponies? It's got to be the Mazda. The Mazda has beaten the Honda up the hill. Wow. And that is extraordinary. Wow. Fantastic! Unbelievable! Last year, 0.112 of a second between these two cars. It was the number 16 that came out on top then. Now it's 0.083 of a second between them. Even closer. Fantastic finish. Give the script writer a raise. That was outstanding. BMW take GT with Bill Oberlin. And he's won by all of two seconds over York Berg Bergmeister. The battery tender hard charger award, it's got to go to Lucas Lowe for that last stint. He took the lead and went away. It looked like he was going to win that race. He's been through the field a couple of times. They've had their problems. What a fantastic run it's been. He had to chase down the 16 and at the last corner, he sticks it in there. That's really, really good driving by both of them. Smithy doesn't flinch, knows he might just have a chance. Fins to the right, goes to the left. Oh, magic stuff. And Lucas Law might not have won the race, but he's taken the hard charger award. And there is Guy Smith just sneaking the victory by a lawless length. 0.083 <laughs> of a second.